Hello, my name is Diana Moore and I am the Moodle admin. Today I'm going to show you how to log into the Moodle platform where you will find any courses that you are enrolled in. You will have received an email message with a link to the Moodle platform. You can click on that link or you can type the link directly into your browser. The link is brandman.moodlecloud.com. And when you click on that link or you type it into your browser, you receive the login page for the Moodle platform where your courses or course resides. Here you type in your username and your password. You will have received an email message from me that contains your username and password. If you have not yet received that email message, then you might want to check your junk mail folder as sometimes it does go right into the junk mail. If for some reason you don't find it in your junk mail and you don't find it in your inbox, then you can reach out to me directly and I will be sure that you have access to the course in which you are enrolled. My contact information will be at the end of this video. So here in the login page, just type in your username. Here I'll type in username, get my password. You have the option to click remember username if you'd like your browser to remember your username in the future. And if you have issues logging in, you can always, if you've forgotten your password, you can click on the forgotten your username or password link and you can retrieve that. And we're going to log in by pressing the login button. And this is what you will see when you log into Moodle. My browser has asked if I want to save my password. So you have the option of doing that. While browsers are different in how they ask that question, you can click save or never to never be bothered with it again. But for now, I'm just going to X out of it. So once you're logged into the Moodle platform, this is the dashboard that you'll see. It always defaults to the dashboard. Any courses in which you are enrolled will be on this dashboard. And here I am enrolled in two courses. I'm going to click on the course for Network Plus to show you what it looks like to log in to Moodle and then click on your course. The title of the course is a URL. You simply click on that link and it brings you into the course classroom. And here we're into the classroom. We have a description of our course and the virtual classroom links. From here, you can log into the virtual classroom through Adobe Connect Pro by clicking on this link here and we'll open up the classroom. There are other various pieces of information, documentation, courseware, software, books that you might need for this particular course, all here at your fingertips. On the left side in the navigation bar, you can see the other participants, badges you may have received, any competencies that are needed, your grades. You can go back to the dashboard or the site home, view the calendar, any private files for this particular course or for you, and any of your other courses from this navigation bar. So we go back to our dashboard, and here we have a list of all of our courses. On the right-hand side, we have a list of those private files, of which there are none currently, a timeline for anything that may be due, other online users, Currently, there aren't any but myself. Any badges you may have earned, 
the calendar, and any upcoming events on the calendar. When we scroll back up, we see that the side bar is also just a little bit different, but you still have the same access to your two courses, private files, calendar. And if you go to the site home, it just gives you a different view. You just have a list of your classes, uh, all the classes in Moodle, even if you don't have access to them. Going back to the dashboard, if you look at the upper right hand corner where my cursor is, you see your name, I am test student, and here you can click on the down arrow or just click on the link that says test student. And from here you can get to your dashboard, you can go directly to your profile and make some updates like adding a picture. You can see your grades, any messages you may have preferences for notifications and other things to do with the Moodle platform, and then you can log out. And that's it for the introduction to logging into the Moodle platform, a brief overview. There will be more detailed information available to you about navigating Moodle. And if you have any questions or concerns, please do reach out to me directly. Again, my information will be at the end of the video. Thank you.